Hi guys. Okay, so to recap off of last week, uh, I talked about how I had just started on Kepra and it actually worked for me. It had been controlling my seizures. I didn't have the Kepra rage. And I went about seven months without a seizure, except for one breakthrough when I had forgotten to take my nightly dose. So I for sure can't miss a dose, but um, I'm still on Kepra to this day. Um, it hasn't given me any problems, um, but other factors <laughs> have kind of contributed. So we're gonna get into that today. Um, so I started Kepra in December of 2019, and I had my breakthrough in April of 2020 when I forgot a dose. And then in July of 2020, I decided to start to try and get healthy and really take care of my body because things were going so great. And I was like, I need to make sure that I stick around for my husband, my boys, and you know, really take care of myself. So what was it? July 15th, I completely quit drinking. I hadn't been, you know, an alcoholic, a drunk, drinking like crazy, but you know, I've been having a few in the evening. I completely quit drinking. I started eating extremely healthy. I started running every day. Um, full force, went for it, and uh, lost five pounds in five days, which I know is mainly water weight, but things are going great. Um, five days after I started that, on July 20th, I had a grand mal seizure, which, I'm gonna go ahead and contribute that to probably alcohol withdrawal. Just my body went into shock like, what are you doing? <laughs> Girl, you're going crazy. My brain was like, no, 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 this is too much. Uh, so, okay, I'll give that one a pass. Fine, whatever. Um, just kept going, consider that a one-off. And then um, August 11th. So, you know, what was that, two? Three weeks later, whatever, um, I went into work before the store opened. You know, on a previous video, I talked that I worked at a discount clothing store. I went in on my day off just to help out uh, before the store opened. And uh, I talked about the experience in a previous video. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in here so you can see what happened with that and i ended up having my first ever tonic clonic in public uh, luckily again before the store opened but it was in the store with my store manager and one of my co-workers uh, i knew it was coming i could tell i called danny on the phone i'm like this is happening i'm here at the store so i was kind of behind the cash registers there were some rubber mats so uh you know, my store manager kept people away. It's like, just keep going, keep going. I warned them. Um, I'm going to lay down. It's going to be fine. Don't call an ambulance. Danny's on his way. I'm going to start convulsing. I'm going to make some crazy noises. It's fine. Just <laughs> leave me be. I'll be okay. So they were calm. I you know heard later they were a little freaked out, but they knew it was going to be okay. Um, and so Danny got there and... Uh, I was like, oh, so did you take me out immediately? He's like, no, we had to wait around about 20 minutes for you know you to be able to leave the store, your postictal phase. I was like, oh boy, <laughs> that was fun to see. <sighs> but he said, you know, everyone was fine. We were all calm, collected. I got to leave before the store opened. And I think I became aware in the truck on the way home. <laughs> and I just looked at him like, oh, that happened, didn't it? He's like, yes, it's fine. I was like, oh. But hey, at least, not that anybody doubted me, but there was no doubt then, oh wow, she really does have epilepsy and seizures. That happened. Now keep in mind, again, that was the first and only seizure I've ever had in public. Um, hopefully, the only one I ever will. <laughs> that was That's enough for me. Um, but yeah, after that, um, I came home and... I had another one that afternoon, a partial seizure, 
which was the very first par partial seizure I'd ever had, which kind of, I don't even know how to describe it. I really don't even remember what it was like. I just know I had put in my notes app, I had a partial seizure. I think it was where I didn't completely go um, unconscious. I was just sort of, um, maybe it was an absent seizure or something. I just know it was different and it freaked me out. And uh, I told my husband, something's going on. This is different. This is scaring me. Um, I contacted my neurologist. I said, I don't like this. Something's different. And um, we started talking about maybe we need to look at utilizing my short-term disability that I've been paying into uh, through my work the whole time I've been working there you know, just in case something happened, maybe I should start uh, using that till we can get this all figured out so I don't have another one at work when we're actually open, when customers are there. So, um, you know, that kind of got me thinking in that process, um, what could happen now? And, uh, yeah, so that started, little did I know, uh, waterfall effect of what was going to happen next. That was the beginning of my journey of uh, light auras, partial seizures, whatever you want to call them. Different, my second kind of seizure started after that. Um, we'll get into on the next video. Um, but up until this point, Keppra had been my one and only drug that I had found that had worked for me. I would only been taking one drug at a time at that point. And I thought that was all I was going to need and I was good to go. Um, but no, <laughs> but no. Uh, so, um, it was disheartening to think that, um, you know, I really was trying to take care of myself and to feel better. And I was still actively losing weight. And, you know, at that point I had lost 10 pounds when I had done that. And I wasn't sure if I should keep going, if I should still keep trying to take care of myself because, you know, things were kind of snowballing. I did, I kept going and the seizures got worse, which again, you'll find out later. And, you know, it, my body was responding well, my brain on the other hand was not responding well. It was like, I don't know, what you think you're doing trying to take care of yourself, but <laughs> I'm not playing along. So <sighs> we had to try and figure something else out. So uh, that's when I really had to, to partner up with my, God, was I with my epileptologist at that point? See, epilepsy brain, I can't remember if it was my neurologist or epileptologist at that point. I'm one of those great people. I was with, I think it was my epileptologist, partnered with, or like, help. Um, but yeah, so Kepper was working until I started, Kepper was working, Kepper was doing great until I started getting healthy, until I started taking care of myself. And at the point when I later on tried to stop all that, it was too late. It was too late, Kepper could not, help me on its own. I had already rewired my brain somehow to where <laughs> it, it didn't work on its own anymore. So um, we'll get into that on next week and um, hope to see you there for that adventure. <laughs> you can find out what happens next. So um, just make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Thanks guys.